Hello everyone, it's Roman from Natively and today's video tutorial will explain how to integrate apps flyer into your Natively app. We have a well documented uh, through the whole process by the screenshot and a short description so we can read it out uh, in our documentation in the analytics section in the flyer page. Okay. Let's start. The first of all, you need to create an uh, Apps Flyer account. We already have it, and we will switch to the Apps Flyer page. So after you have created an account, you will see the home page something like this, but you don't have the apps already added. So let's add our first step. We will start our tutorial from Android. In the first uh, section, you need to select the platform. So we select Android TV Fire and then you need to choose the Google Play status. So if your application already published, you need to select in store and provide the URL to your application. If not, you can choose the pending approval slash not publish and enter here your package ID. So the package ID can be found in natively app. You're going to publish android and copy the vela under the bundle identifier then go back to the apps flyer and just paste it here in our case we have already published the app to the store so we just need to paste here google play url then click next in the second section you need to select the currency. If you have enabled in-app purchases and natively and you want to add apps flyer analytics, natively will track in-app purchases by default. You can't disable this feature. So at this point, in any case, if you have or you don't have in-app purchase enabled, you need to select the currency. So I will select USD and to check if your app is not targeted or targeted to kids. After clicking add, you will see the success screen with a dev key, which you can copy and just uh, switch back to natively, go to the features, analytics, and enable apps flyer. And here you can paste your dev token. At that point, you will not see the app ID and we will remove that field in the future updates. So you don't need to enter this value for Android. So you can just click save, go to the publish and rebuild your app. After your app will be successfully delivered, you just need to download the APK file and run it on your test device. More information about how to test apps flyer can be found in our documentation. So there is step number four. You can click this link and it will redirect you to the apps flyer help center where they have an article on how to test their SDK. Okay, let's switch back and create the Android application. We can click here at another app and selecting iOS here. We already have published this app in store. So let me find our link. So I'm just copying this link and paste it here. Then click next. Same as for Android, you need to select the currency and then check if your app is not targeted to kids. Click at my app. And that's pretty it. If you have noticed, the dev key is the same for iOS and Android. So you can just uh, go to that natively platform into analytics section and so uh, enter this key it will be same for ios and for android but for ios if you want to enable analytic uh, you need to check mark additional step enabled analytics for ios in this section you need to provide the permission description more information about how to write the correct permission description can be found on the user privacy and data use uh, web page 
and here Apple describes what this permission mean and how do you need to write them. After writing this permission, you can just paste it here. In App ID, we will remove this App ID in the future, but it's the same value as you have in Publish iOS Build App Store App ID. So we'll just enter this and click Save. Okay, after all settings saved, we need to go to Publish iOS Build and click Rebuild the app. Then same as for Android, your app will be delivered to the test flight. You need to install it and run and then go to the testing, the SDK integration article and go through these whole steps. It will explain and you have to make sure you have set up everything correctly. Okay, this is pretty it. If you have any questions on the analytics integration, uh, especially on the apps flyer, uh, just ping us in the support chat on native platform and have a nice no coding.